hello internet. Right, as I said last time, um, the Teagle went for its demo. Try again. Hello internet. So, in my last video, the Teagle went for the MOT uh, and it passed, but it passed with a few advisories, i.e. the brakes. Now, before I get rid of the car, I want the brakes to be right, uh, and I wanted to check them before I took it for the MOT, but anyway, that's all in the past. Um, so, today, it's uh, it's time to start digging into it. Um, I've got two or three hours left of the day before the uh, the light goes, so um, let's at least get the front ones done. So, I have now got the added complication that um, we've had a, a very expensive new drive put down, and I can't make a mess anymore. <laughs> so the jacks ended up on a bit of ply, and uh, my mats will be slid under there as soon as the wheel's off. Got to be careful. And this is what happens when you leave cars standing for a while. Uh, just crrr, horrible surface rust, uh, especially on the brakes. So yeah, let's knock some of that off. There you go, when you knock the rust off them, they're not too bad. There's, there's no real lip on there. In fact, they look quite newish. Um, it certainly had some work done um, because that's a new bolt there. So I assume it's had a CV joint or it's had uh, a wheel bearing or something like that. Um, but again, evidence that it's been looked after in its life. <laughs> it's a shame, really, that it's, uh, you know, causing problems now. But, yeah, nothing that can't be fixed. So there you go, had a bit of a clean-up. I don't think at least the disc is that old. Um, there's a little bit of a lip on there, but hardly anything to be honest. And the brake caliper looks now I've cleaned it up a little bit, looks fairly new as well. So, um, yeah, I think we're just a little bit stuck. So, a little bit of the good stuff on there WD. Um, for reference, these are 12 mil, strange size, I know, but um, yeah, some cars seem to have them that size. All right, let's see how easy these come off. Can I do it? one-handed oh there you go again nice and easy it leads me to think that you know at some point quite recently these have been done right so both screws come out okay so now all it is now is we wiggle the caliper a bit i'm going to try and pull it towards me slightly see if i can retract the piston make it a little bit easier to get out and then literally there you go that is it you just pull the back of the caliper off Right, I'm going to put that there for now, so it doesn't strain that pipe. Um, here are the pads. To be honest, yeah, they were getting low. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Pistons, yeah, that bottom one's seized up. Uh, so be careful when you do these, because, as you can see there, that one's seized up. And what's happened is, oh, there's plenty of meat on this one. I don't know if you can see on that side, it's worn it down quite a bit. That one... Is sliding in and out quite freely that one there is not so there's your problem um, it's just not been retracting on the caliper could be an easy fix obviously you need to check the piston itself but um, yeah, as long as that goes in and out okay I'll give it a little bit of grease and um, we'll be good to go well that little blighter was well and truly stuck there it goes in there it's free now but um, as you can see it's quite skanky in there but nothing that a, a good pair of mole grips and a strong determination can't sort out. Right, let's get these greased up, get them free again, and um, put it all back together. There you go. That's how they should work. Should be nice and free. Just like that. Super. Now, before you put your new pads in as well, make sure you clean the gully up top and bottom. Just there that the brake pad sits in. I hope you can see that. Yeah, clean that up because you'll need to. There you go. That's better. They are um, stainless steel, so you shouldn't need to put anything on them. Um, they should glide quite nicely on that, and they shouldn't rust. It's just, uh, yeah, people do put grease on them. I don't tend to because I don't see the point, personally. New pads. Premium brake pads from DriveTech. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm impressed. They don't usually come with these. <laughs> but I might even replace them. Wow. And the clips and the shrink wrapped. Tell you what, drive tech came from GSF. I'm impressed, and they weren't that much money either. Nice, okay. So the pads are in place, 
all nicely fitting. Uh, my next task now is to wind back this piston and make sure that's nice and free. Uh, my suspicions are it may be a little bit stuck, but we will find out and it won't be for long because it will be freed up in, well, two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, so that's pretty much as far back as it needs to go. Um, to be honest, it went back quite easily. It wasn't stuck at all. So um, happy with that. I'm just going to lift that area there and uh, get a little bit of WD in it just to uh, protect it. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. It's not stuck at all. So time to put the bolts back in, of course. We're dealing with brakes. Fred, lock them. There you go. You don't need to go mad. Just cover them. 20 newton meters. Yeah. And there you go, all back together again. Perfect. Right, let's get the other side done and then we'll give it a shut up. Loving birds, we'll give it a test, shall we? Yeah, it's time to get slightly anal. <laughs> Bit of magma. Clean it up. And on to the other side. Uh, again, yeah, it looks a lot of surface rust because it's been standing. But uh, all in all, yeah, it's fairly new in here, just yeah, again, flaky rust that I need to get off, but that's about all. Nothing wrong with the disc at all, it's, uh, it's hardly got a lip on it. That'll bed in quite nicely. Right, let's get on with it. Yeah, again, no real drama getting those off. Um, pulled the piston against the brake pads, and uh, yeah, it, um, it went back okay. The, the pins this time, that one's a little stiff, but yeah, nowhere near as bad as the other side, so yeah, this should be quick and easy. And there you have it, all done. So the only thing I've got to do now is uh, quick tidy up and we'll take it for a bit of a test drive. It's all taxed, MOT and everything else, so yeah, let's see what the brakes feel like now. Still got to do the back brakes and I'll do those another time, just haven't got the time today. But um, this will make a big difference because that cylinder, or that, um, that plug over there, the slide, was pretty much um, seized. So that was the problem, that was the imbalance. Oh, wind's getting up. Right, that'll do for now. I will catch you later, YouTube. Have a great day.